Welcome to video number 32 of Rick's Pipe Dream Magnetic Motor Generator Project Series. I've set up my rotor magnets to attempt to uh, foil the, uh, the stator magnet. And let me just explain this to you. I'll go back to the beginning here. Um, okay, I've, I've, I've uh, made a pencil mark here. Uh, with a uh, little arrow and um, this will be my starting point. I'm going to line this up right so the, the center nib on the, uh, the the pointing nib here in the center of the stator uh, this line would would be right to this point and that's where I'm going to start because there's uh, up to that point. There's zero attraction, but if but if I uh, you see if I let go here, I start to get attraction. Okay, uh, if I'm back beyond that, there's nothing. I've got the uh, flywheel is leveled out now. I used my digital readout uh, level, and it, it's uh, almost perfectly level now. It might be one-tenth of uh, one degree off at the most. Now let me explain the uh, rotor magnet layout that I'm using. Here's what I have. Now when I get to this first uh, series of magnets You'll see that there's four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. And these are in a straight line. Let me just uh, let me zoom out on that a little bit. There, that's better now. Now you can see what I'm talking about. I have the four magnets. Now these are all lined up. Now these are uh, north facing up rotor magnets and uh, they're being attracted to the south facing down stator. Okay, full attraction. Now I get to the fifth magnet and I've shifted that over to the right, you can see. And uh, what I have there, I'm, I'm moving it closer to the center. Now if it was at the center, I'd have a null effect. There'd be uh, no uh, attraction and no repulsion to the stator magnet. But I've, shift, I've left it shifted a little bit uh, more to the left. So I still do have attraction here. Uh, you know, this, the, the, this is north, 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 right? So this north is the one that I have just shifted over. This one is still in partial attraction to the south pole, but it's uh, less, it's less attraction than we had here. This is full attraction and this is reduced attraction to the south pole of the stator. Now when I get to this point, I have reversed the polarity. So instead of having a north facing up magnet, I'm using a south facing magnet. And this one is uh, in a reduced attraction mode. Okay now we get to the next magnet position. You can see that I've, I've uh, shot this back over to the left. And uh, so this magnet would be um, this would be a north facing up magnet and it's in full attraction to the south facing down stator magnet. However, all of my other magnets are doubled. 
You see this? These are all doubled. And this is a single magnet. These magnets are 3 eighths of an inch wide and uh, 3 quarter inch long and 1 eighth inch in thickness. So doubled like this one it would be 1 quarter inch thickness. Okay. So we have twice the strength when, when they're doubled. Uh, what, I, what I originally tried was to just leave a gap here. I wanted to leave a gap so I'd come off of this end and then hopefully coast on to this next magnet. Okay, this, this next magnet would be in full attraction, south facing up, full attraction to the north facing down stator. I wanted to leave that gap, a break. However, um, it seemed that it would uh, just slow down when it, as soon as it passed this magnet, it would slow down and almost come to a dead stop somewhere in between these two magnets. I didn't like that. So I put this single magnet here just to give a little bit of attraction at this point just to keep the rotation moving uh, so that it would advance to the next uh, series of magnets. Okay. Now with this magnet, this is the first of another four magnet series. It's, it's the same as this layout. There's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven magnets all together in one group. The group always ends with the small magnet. Okay, so the first, the next four are lined up. Then we have the offset with the reduced attraction. And then we have the uh, reversal of pole here again. And this, uh, this would be the um, uh, a north facing up magnet. North facing up with reduced attraction to the south facing down stator. And then we have the single magnet with the seventh magnet to finish off this group. And uh, of course, again, this is back over the other way to the, um, the attraction with the uh, north facing down stator pole. Okay, and this brings us to the next group of four. Reduced attraction, change of pole and reduced attraction, full attraction with a single magnet. The next group of four reduced attraction, change of pole, reduced attraction, full attraction with a single magnet, and then the next group of four, one, two, three, four, and another reduced attraction. And that's all I have room for, I'm right at the end of the plates here, okay? So let me go back, I'm going to move all the way back to the beginning, and here goes, let's see what happened, I'm going to line this up with the uh, starting point, and then I'll just take my finger off, let go, and uh, we'll see what happens here. Yeah. Well, it did go all the way to the end. And look at that, it's, it's only cogging back, uh, it's not reaching the midpoint. It's actually uh, 
about halfway between the midpoint and the end.